What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the snake room at SFB Exotics. We've got to talk about a new snake that we just got. So we're really excited about this guy. Um, he just came in and we just got him about, what time is it now? We got him about two days ago. So he's already situated inside his tub. So we're gonna take him out so you guys can take a look. Let's go. No animals were harmed in the making of this video. Okay, so this is not the new snake. Uh, this is gonna lead into what we got. This is, uh, for those of you that remember Daisy, or if you follow Kristen's channel, uh, this is her albino Burmese python, Daisy. So Daisy we got at Tinley in, what, March of this year. So March of 2019. And now it is July, middle of July. And we got her at 200 grams, and now she's pushing 1,000 grams. And it's insane how fast these things grow. So I kind of understand why they're destroying the Everglades. Because if you get some of these guys on the loose, within a couple months, they're already getting big and eating uh, small to medium sized rats. So you can only imagine in the wild um, how fast these things will get up to breeding size. And if these things pop out like 50 babies, um, a clutch, give or take. I mean, a lot of clutches are smaller. Some are even bigger than 50. Uh, so you can just imagine how fast <laughs> that population's exploding in the Everglades. So that's probably what we'll do is once this gets too big for us, we'll just rehome it in the Everglades because that seems to be what everybody's doing nowadays. Just kidding. So this is our female albino. She's not het for anything else that we know of. We just know that she's a female albino. And we decided to get a male for her. Um, as you know, albino's a recessive gene just like in ball python. So we need to have either a head albino or a visual albino in order to get any albino babies. Um, and so we wanted to make sure that when we, we, since we only have two berms, well, we only have one berm right now, the female, when we get a male for her, we need to get something that's gonna be head albino or albino, but we'd also like something that we can um, get another gene to pass on. And so that other gene would be something along the lines of like a hypo. Hypo is gonna be uh, a non-recessive gene that we, can that we can push from the male to the offspring. So being that she's not hypo, um, if we got a male that's hypo, some of the babies will be hypo. So hypo and albino were two of the traits that we were looking for in a male. So now what we're gonna do is talk about the snake that we just got. So again, this is our albino berm. This is Daisy. Daisy's probably one of the sweetest snakes that we have. She's getting big, but she is so gentle. Um, she's one of the, like, becoming one of my favorites to take out and, and play with. Huge difference between retics and berms is this is like the most lazy snake you can imagine. This thing will just sit on your lap. You can watch TV and watch Netflix and chill with this and it won't move. The retics never stop moving. Both are equally friendly, but the just retics never stop. This berm will settle down in a couple minutes and then just fall asleep and not move for hours. It's insane. So let's talk about the new snake that we just got. I'm gonna put this one away. This will now kind of give, it'll now justify why we got what we got. So let's check out the new snake. All right, so here's the new snake. So to kind of touch on what we just said, this is our new male Burmese python. So this male, it might be a little bit hard to see, but this male is what's called a blizzard. It's a super hypo. So we talked about the hypo gene. This is a super hypo, but yet it's also albino. And so typically a super hypo, like in ball pythons, would be like a uh, blue-eyed leucistic, right? So it would have no pigment, it would just be white, and it would have blue eyes. In Burmese, the super hypos will either be blue-eyed or black-eyed babies. So they'd be white with blue eyes or black eyes. So this snake is all white, but it has red eyes because it's albino. So that means when I breed this to something like our albino female, everything is gonna be albino. Because you breed albino to albino, everything will be albino. And then because this is a super hypo, the hypo gene will get passed on to every single baby. So that means every single baby from that clutch will be a pearl. A pearl is a hypo albino. So every single baby will be a pearl. We will get nothing other than pearls, which I'm okay with. Um, so again, that's gonna be a pretty awesome snake to have. This is gonna be a nice little, I guess you call them a little powerhouse male. But not only is he gonna produce awesome babies, I just think the blizzards are so cool to have an all white snake with red eyes, I think is, is pretty awesome. So um, for all my Game of Thrones fans out there, 
we did name him, and this is Jon Snow. So we can all welcome Jon Snow to the collection. Jon Snow is gonna be the boyfriend to Daisy. So I would also like this video to serve as a way for all of us to network with one another. So what I mean by that is, you can comment down below whatever you would like, but I would also like for you to add a link to your YouTube channel down below. That way I can make sure that I click on everybody's links that are down below and subscribe to everybody's channel in case I've missed you in the past. I know we've done this, I think on my, maybe my second video that we've ever posted, I asked for everybody to add their YouTube channels. Um, so if I haven't already subscribed to your channel, that way I can go check and that way you guys can all go through the comments too and start looking at people's channels. So please down below link um, a direct link to your YouTube channel so people can just click on it in the comments and check out your channels. And tomorrow is Wednesday and what Wednesday is is Reptiles Unplugged YouTube channels doing their live podcast. But I believe myself, Macho Madness might be there. Um, and the podcast is run by Adam from Beach Bum Exotics and Joel from State 48 Exotics. They merged together uh, and they started their own little live, uh, I guess you call it a podcast. I keep calling it a podcast. I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but that will be Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. So that's it for today. Again, if this is your first time on one of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. Next to the subscribe button is that little bell. If you don't know what that is, if you click the bell, that's gonna notify you whenever we post a video. So if you like the channel, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss a video. Hit the like button if you like the video, if you like snakes, if you like this type of content, hit the like button and share it. Share this with any of the people that you know that are berm python collectors, berm breeders, because I love to reach out uh, and get to meet a lot of you guys, but especially since we're kind of new to the whole Burmese python thing and we are pretty hooked on it. So that's it, and I will catch you guys in the next vlog. Peace out, everybody.